All right, welcome back. So last time we put together this uh, little signpost here and we made this map look a little nicer. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more to it here before we move on to another map after this. Um, so let's go ahead and go up to the top to our map editing view. And the first thing I noticed right away is this shadow over here, like I was talking about before with the shadow pin. So I'm going to fill that in, make it look a little more uniform and believable and reasonable whatever um and then i'll go back to the pencil here so uh the way we ended up doing all these trees and stuff here i don't really think it's all that great for this uh path so i'm going to actually go back and modify this a little bit um maybe i think i might like break it apart a little here and just kind of have it be the suggestion of a path um just do something maybe a little bit more like that. Um, and I want to pull it a little further away from this, I think, here too. Uh, there we go. Because this is kind of a... You know, maybe I'll make it actually a little bit less over here too. This is kind of a place that's, you know, I don't want it to be like a well-traveled path necessarily. Um, it's just kind of just like a side route in my, you know, my and how I have it imagined in my head. Uh, it's kind of a... Whoops, looks like that got rid of our shadows that we put in so we'll have to put that back but um but yeah in my mind this is kind of more of a out of the way place where maybe not that many people are actually going here so it's not going to be a really well walked well worn trail so um you know so i figure i'll put a little bit more grass back on here uh, to kind of cover that up a little bit um, and those kinds of decisions, you know, you'll you'll be making them yourself for your own projects and things. So whatever seems to be right to you to make the most sense. Um, so, okay, got the shadow pen put back in there. I think I want to maybe add some extra grass in here. Oops, that is not what I wanted. I was going to do that. And then something like this, maybe. The little hints of taller grass um, and maybe some more down here now one thing we can do is uh, we could actually like I say for this tree for example temporarily draw over it a bit um, and then we would come back on the B tab and grab the tops of the trees again and then click back in and then we can kind of overlay it so it looks a little nicer so it looks like the grass is growing up against the tree and things like that um, just to try to add a little bit more details and you know visual flair and all that because you want your areas to look pretty nice if you can manage it you know and again like i was talking about before the more time you spend on your maps the better you'll be able to make them look so absolutely if as you're you know working on your own game projects and things uh, you know, take the time to make it look really nice. Go spend the, you know, four hours on a tiny little map like this and add all the little uh, things that, you, you know, anything you can think of really to add. Um, it's all going to benefit, you know, overall. Like the more you can add, there's, I, I believe there's such a thing as too much stuff on a map, but also because you, like, you do want to have some open spaces to contrast the crowdedness and things. But also, like, you can spend a lot of time adding details that, uh, you know, really help help make your map, like, just really stand out in a good way. So, um, and I, take, I think it takes a long time before you get to the point where there's too much stuff. So, um, but, you know, you'll start to get a feel for what seems right to you and what seems a little bit strange. But it, it is going to take some, you know, trial and error and just experimenting because that's what a lot of this is about is seeing how things look together, seeing, you know, what works and what doesn't, seeing what appeals to you visually and all that stuff. So, actually, I don't want that there. That's, you know, so, you know. But yeah, definitely take as much time as you can to make your maps look nice and it will pay off for you in the long run for sure. 
So here I'm just trying to think of some ways to kind of block this off over here. Like I might do maybe a rock right there and then put the tree back over it. So in doing that, uh, normally a player would be able to walk where this tree is, but because this rock is also here and that's an impassable tile, it's one that they can't, uh, you know, walk through. Um, it will stop them. So actually, I'm, I'm going to take a second here to just place test it and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. Because normally they would be able to walk through it. So as we're seeing here, you know, you can normally you can walk behind the tops of the trees and they'll appear over the player. So normally you can just walk back here, but because we put this rock here, now the player is you know, restricted from being able to access over there. Even though they can normally, you know, walk through this tree tile, which is right here. Uh, because we also have the rock underneath. They are now prevented from going that direction. So uh, it's just a nice way to, you know, most players will just look at it as more scenery or whatever, and they won't even bother. But if they did try to go over here thinking this was some kind of like secret area or something, then the rock will, you know, prevent them from doing that. Another nice thing we could maybe do here to add some more visual appeal is just kind of block in some of this grass here. And then again, you kind of have to manually go back and fill these back in a little bit. And same with the tops of the tree. Oops, actually we need the right corner. There we go. Top right corner and then the top left corner. So then now, see, you've got some grass kind of growing there, and that looks a little bit more interesting than it did. You know, it gives you some kind of visual, uh, you know, variance and variety and things. Um, so, yeah, you know, just little touches like that where you can see already just from adding some grass and a couple of rocks and things like that, this, this map looks more interesting and, and actually cutting away some of the path made it more interesting too. Sometimes having less things going on on the screen is actually, uh, you know, of more benefit. Um, even though you wouldn't really think that that would be the case. Necessarily, actually, let me undo that. I think somewhere there's a stump with, like, some green growing on it, if I remember right. Here it is. That one. That's the one I want. So it looks like an old weathered stump and maybe... There used to be a tree there and it fell and, we, you know, things like that. And maybe, maybe, maybe we can even do a log and, you know, like that was part of the tree. So these are just other ways to kind of block the player and, and redirect them and say, hey, you know, you don't need to go this way. Um, so just if you need something more visual to, you know, uh, again, it's more just about guiding the player and suggesting where they should be going, like in case they thought they could actually move down here into this, because it looks like it's an opening if these things aren't here. But now that we have a stump and a log in the way, then, you know, then the player will go, oh, well, I probably can't go that way, so let's try this way, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so, like I said before, it's up to you to what degree you want to do that. Um, you know, whatever you think is best for your game. Um, but generally, a good practice, I think, is just guiding the player either with a path or, you know, just some kind of suggestion to, like, show them, like, hey, maybe go over here. Versus, like, if we took all this part out, and, you know, this one is kind of helpful just because of the way that we did the forest. But, um, you know, maybe we didn't have all these trees on the bottom, and then it would just be, like, all this open space over here on the side. And then the player wouldn't really know, like, where are they supposed to go? Over here? Or down here? Um, and the other thing you could do if you wanted is these events here, you could copy them like all the way up the left side and all the way down the left side of the screen. That way, no matter where on the left side they went, it would take them over to this map or, you know, and if that's how you want to do it, that's fine. But it, you know, it takes more time obviously to do it that way. Um, but you know, there's, there, you have a lot of choices that you can, uh, work with. So. Just trying to find something else maybe to put here that would be good. I think this other brown rock is could probably be good. Um, actually, no, is there a... I don't remember if there's a mossy rock or not, or like a 
grass covered rock somewhere. I knew there was one for the stump, but um, I don't think so, unless I'm forgetting one. I may just not be seeing it. And there's a snow covered rock. That's not exactly what we're looking for. Um, yeah, I don't think there is by default. That's okay. Um, Alright, so I think what I'll do instead is go back here, use the grass, and just leave that other section of grass right there alone, and then I'll put this rock here. And then again, that'll just kind of, you know, between the trees and the rock, the player's not going to be able to move past, you know, this square, and they'll, they'll know to not try to go up here, that sort of thing, so. Um, yeah, so just, just little things like that you can do. You can put one here if you wanted to. Maybe I'll just do that and while we've got it going. And then the player won't think to try to go there. Again, it's not necessary. You don't have to block up every single little square on the edge of your you know, screen if you don't want. It's really not that big of a deal. But you can do some simple things that are you know, unobtrusive and you, you wouldn't really think too much about it just by seeing a rock there. And yet it can serve a design purpose as well to you know, guide the player away from going up in this corner or down here and things like that. So... There are definitely ways you can do that in a way that doesn't really stand out to the player necessarily as they're going through. So you could even put like a stump right here if we wanted or something. Uh, yeah, it, I think it's okay to leave that like that though. That's pretty good. Um, so we've got some more grass. We've got a couple other things. And again, like I said, spend more time than I'm spending in these videos when you're working on your map because you can do a lot more than I'm doing here for the sake of tutorials and things so um, and that's what you want you know you want to make your maps look nice and and uh, and interesting for people even if they're using the same default uh, starting assets that come with the game that everybody else has you can still you know uh, make the experience more pleasant and everything just by spending some time practicing and making your maps look really nice so um, 